Hi, my name is Dania Turner, and I'm reporting to you live from the East Nashville High School Alumni Association. A lot of people don't know what this building is, who's in it, or what they're doing here, but today we're about to find out. Let's go. And she is the board of directors of the Alumni Association, and she is the former president of the Alumni Association. So, um, she'll be giving us a quick detour around the house and give us some information on the Alumni Association. And okay. let me introduce myself. I graduated from East High School in 1968. I went to George Peabody College for Teachers and graduated and came back and taught here at East High School. So I was teaching with teachers that I had looked up to and revered. And I want to be just like them. I want to be a good teacher like them. And I want other students, I want them to be teachers too. I retired from teaching and now I'm on the Board of Directors, the Alumni Association, and very active in that. Well, let's sit down for a quick interview with Mrs. Marilyn Creech. So what do you think are the most important features in the Alumni House? We have all kinds of memorabilia dating back 1930s all the way to 2000. We've got football jerseys, we've got football jackets, letter jackets, letters, sweaters, cheerleading uniforms, majorette uniforms, band uniforms, cheerleader megaphones. We've got all kinds of trophies from every kind of sport. Well, let's see. Isn't that beautiful? So, how many um, how many people are in the Alumni Association? There's approximately on roll 5,000. We have about 2,000 of those that pay dues. To belong to the East Nashville Alumni Association, you pay $10 a year, and that money helps to go to keep this alumni house up. And uh, we put out a newsletter twice a year and we have such a large organization, we hired a bookkeeper. And so those $10 dues help pay for all that. Okay, so are there any of the, any alumni that has um, partaken in politics? Yes, we have two famous ones. We've got Dick Fulton, he played football here. He was a very good athlete. He was mayor of Nashville. And then Bill Boner, who was another super athlete here. He was a basketball star and he was former mayor of Nashville. Okay, so what was your first or, um, shall I say, favorite moment at East Nashville High School? When I was marching on the football field, I was drum major of the band. What year? 19, well, my 10th grade year I was majorette. Then my 11th grade and 12th grade year I was drum major. And when we went to marching contest, a lot of guys, or band directors from colleges, offered me scholarships and I was offered a scholarship to go to Vanderbilt so I was the first female drum major of the Vanderbilt University band back in the day Vanderbilt used to be all boys all boy cheerleaders all boy everything but as times changed and they wanted more enrollment so they had to get you know let the ladies come in so then the ladies started being the cheerleading and the, and the band and so that was my claim to fame and I came from East Nashville High School <laughs> I was so proud Okay, so um, is there anything the alumni is planning on doing in the future um, with the school and all? We have a all alumni reunion every three years. Okay. And so you seniors that are graduating mm -hmm. this year, you, I hope, will be able to come back in three years. Hopefully so, Hopefully, three but if years. You're, but if you're in college, you know, and you, you can't come home, but... Just remember that we try to have an all alumni reunion every three years, and it's open to anybody. You don't have to be an East graduate. We have it in the auditorium, and we let everybody walk through the school and see how beautiful our school is. 
The school is on the National Historic Register, which we're very proud of. Are we off? Yeah. <laughs> Are we off? <laughs> so um, earlier we we were talking about the um, the new plan or project the Alumni Association was putting together for the stadium. Yes. Could we're, you give us some information? Uh, it's going to be called the project's called Friday Night Lights, <laughs> and Mr. Ball wants the football team to be back over here playing behind the school where they should be instead of at another football field. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a lot of money raising, trying to get a big, beautiful stadium built for East High School again. Wow, isn't that wonderful? We've got a marching band. Mr. Ball hired a band director, so, uh, so we've got a marching band. And the great thing is, that they've incorporated the school songs that were here for 50 years. Forward Eagles, which is our fight song, and Ye Loyal Sons, which is the school song. Well, could you sing us a couple of them? <clears throat> Ye loyal sons of old East High, you'll pledge your all to do or die. You'll fight in honor of your dear old school. You'll play the game by every rule. You eagles with your wings outspread, you'll fight to victory for the gray and red. Never let your spirit die, always fight for old East High, and we'll be proud of you. Well, I like that school song. A lot of school spirit there. Um, what year did you graduate? I graduated in 1968. 1968, 2014, you're still seeing it very joyously. Very. Would you like a tour around the alumni house? I would love one. Okay, come on. In this room, as you saw, it's mostly the trophies and the football jackets and basketball jackets and cheerleading megaphones and cheerleading outfits, band uniform, a lot of pictures. Many of our students know that our school is historic, but do they know the actual story behind it? Did you know that East High wasn't desegregated until the 1950s as a part of the National Plan, a plan to desegregate the Southern City School System? Well, there's a foundation of people working to keep this history alive. The East Nashville Alumni Association. Junior Ward was a teacher. He's the one that's in charge of the Friday Night Lights. He retired. And Butch Stewart was a teacher. So there's a few of them that were teachers. This was the band uniform. It was red and gray and that was the first year. It was black and red and we have one here. But when the gym was built, then all these pictures went down and it was on the wall uh, in the gym, which was very pretty. Come this way. And here's some more memorabilia here. Letter, the letters from the different sports and activities. These are the things that we sell in the Alumni Association. There is a Phil Ponder print for sale. We've got the large one and the small one. There's a Christmas ornament, and then you can buy a brick outside. Those are $50. We've got the cookbook. This is what the old stadium looked like, but it was torn down to put the new Ross Elementary School, so that's why we need to build another stadium. And that's the project you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Could you explain this eagle up here? That eagle used to be in the hall, and we could dig through some yearbooks and see somebody donated that. It does say on here, presented to East Nashville High School in honor of Joshua, Joshua, excuse me, H. Ambrose, 1850 to 1937, lifelong resident of East Nashville, businessman, churchman, and a gentleman. And this is some more letter jackets. This is Mr. Oliver, and the street right out in front of East High School is named for Mr. Oliver. These, this is the first faculty at East High School, 1934. Look at the dresses. <laughs> oh. And then we've got some pictures there of the, some of the football teams that we were able to salvage. When the school was torn, well, it was, uh, I don't want to say demolition, but they they redid it, brought it up to codes and put an elevator in to handicap. They just took stuff and threw it out the door, so we tried to salvage it. Here is our school song, Ye Loyal Sons and Forward Eagles. 
These are all the principals that have been at East High School. This is East Nashville High School. We had eight principals in 50 years, and these have been the principals in the East Nashville Magna High School. Is that Mr. Ball? That's Mr. Ball. Let's get Ball. a close up of that picture. Wow. Looking good. Looking good. So in this way, this is some clocks that were in the old school, a bench that was in the old school. This, these are some of the seats that were in the auditorium. This was a clock that was in the office. This was the scoreboard that used to be in the auditorium. Back in the day before we got the brand new gym, we used to play basketball on the stage, and this was on the stage. You pull the curtain up so you could see the scoreboard, and then when you had a play up there or a concert, then you'd pull that little curtain back down. But if all of you have noticed in on the stage, you see the little bleachers around. That's where it used to, where we used to have basketball games. Okay. We have restrooms in here. The alumni association we paid to do that, so people could use this house. Um, these are some composites. There's a class of 1983 and one of 1985. That was the only two that we salvaged. We have a complete set of yearbooks from 1932 to 1986 and some from East Junior, and then we've got some from East Literature Magnet High School. This is the kitchen, and the Alumni Association paid to do this. Mm -hmm. This is a picture of Mayor Fulton when he was at Nashville, 1944, but that's Dick Fulton, he ended up being mayor. Wow. Is it like? And oh, and here's one of Bill Boner. He was mayor of Nashville. The alumni has every year down to a science. They have a record of every student to attend East Nashville High. Many of them moving on to become political and worldwide leaders. Hi, we're standing here again with Mrs. Marilyn Tooch, and she's going to explain to us the brick walkway. This is our legacy in brick. It's right in front of the alumni house. We've got teachers over on that, that far column. Then we got the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000. For $50, you can have a brick put out here. You can buy a brick for someone, or you can buy a brick for yourself. The money goes to the scholarship fund. Well, now we're here at the end of our tour. I would like to thank Mrs. Marilyn Cooch for giving us the tour of this beautiful alumni house. Seniors, remember. You can come over here at any time. Remember, just for $10 a year, you can become a part of the East Nashville High Alumni Association. It's an ever-growing history of East Nashville High School, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it.